am I left you with this head scratcher? What's happening here with this hydrogen balloon burning? You see, the balloon is full of hydrogen and it's surrounded by air and it can only burn when those two actually mix. So as expected, when the balloon bursts, the flame initially goes around the outside of the balloon, where there is both hydrogen and oxygen in the air. But then this happens. You get this flame that goes straight through the middle of the balloon, where there is only hydrogen. And hydrogen on its own cannot burn. So what's going on here? Well, consider this. The balloon itself weighs about two grams. So let's just say for sake of argument that this balloon has about two liters of gas in it. It's actually quite a bit more, but we'll say two liters for the moment. That's about a tenth of a mole for convenience. Now it turns out it's actually a really good approximation that all gases have about the same number of particles or molecules per unit volume. That is a liter of hydrogen contains the same number of molecules as a liter of air. Now it turns out that hydrogen molecules are actually a lot lighter than the nitrogen and oxygen molecules that make up air. So the mass of one liter of hydrogen is about 0.1 grams, whereas the mass of one liter of air is about one gram. So you can see that at the beginning the balloon is static, and then when it's burst, the balloon moves off to the left, which means in order to conserve momentum, gas must move off to the right. And that's the primary factor in this tongue of flame that you see. So it's a cute idea, but is there a way that we could test this to be sure of what we're actually seeing here? Hmm. Remember how I said earlier that all gases basically have the same number of particles per unit volume? Well, what we want here is a gas whose molecules are big and heavy, such that the mass of the balloon is less than the mass of the gas. Hmm. Butane. Butane weighs about 25 times as much as hydrogen. So two liters of hydrogen is about 0.2 grams, whereas two liters of butane is about five grams, significantly more than the mass of the balloon. So what will happen when the flame touches this baby? Will the flames go around the outside? Will the heavier butane sink towards the ground? Or will the hot gases burning propel everything upwards? Well, initially it turns out it's very well behaved and behaves in a very similar fashion to the hydrogen in that the actual flame goes around the outside because butane, like hydrogen, needs to be mixed with air before it can burn. And mostly when it does burn, it burns with this bluish flame, which means there's lots of oxygen there. However, then the turbulence whips the whole thing up and the rest is a bit of a mess. But fascinatingly, it burns downwards. And this is presumably because the butane is quite a lot denser than air, so it sinks, it falls towards the ground. Indeed, after most of the butane has flashed off, you can actually see that the glass has filled up with butane and continues to burn afterwards as oxygen becomes available. So, riddle me this. A balloon weighs about two grams, and then I'm gonna add about four grams of butane to it. So here is the mass of the canister before and afterwards, and I'm gonna assume a lossless transfer of that butane to the balloon, which is actually a very good approximation in this case. So now comes the question. The balloon weighs two grams. The mass of the butane in the balloon is four grams. So how much does the balloon weigh when I put it on the scales? So just to assure you, I can take a regular balloon that weighs two grams and blow it up and it still weighs two grams. And yes, the butane balloon containing the heavier gas does fall faster. So really, I have my two gram balloon and my four grams of butane. How much does this balloon weigh? Does it weigh six grams or more or less? Well, feel free to torment your friends with this, especially the ones who are school teachers and university lecturers, because the answer is not six grams. Well, why isn't it six grams? Well, that's simple. It's because Whoever's directing this is a master of 